Okay, he's dead. He was doing well. He was doing well. He was doing well. Hi guys, Rafter here. I hope that you are having an awesome 2021. As always, I am back again with another deck slash climbing guide. Very fast, I just released the Z Fiora climbing guide um, two days ago, I think, or three days ago. And now I have a new climbing guide for you guys. This time, I used Tarik Elite Sanctuary. Um, I made this deck from scratch and I was able to reach rank 19 Southeast Asia, which was around 232 LP during that time of the climb. And I personally believe that this is the best Tarik deck in existence right now. I have not seen any other posts or decks from other streamers or YouTubers that reach the high rank with Tarik specifically. If I proceed to the deck guide, I will put the timestamps in the description below. So if you want to skip to the first game, please go ahead and do so. And as usual, I recommend that you watch all the games until the end. Um, this deck is not super hard to pilot, but whether you win or lose will determine whether you have knowledge of the matchup, whether you need to develop or to open attack, and how you time your golden ages. And with that out of the way, I'll now proceed to the deck explanation. So this is a deck that runs Tarik and Garen as its champions and we're using the elite package including Vanguard Bannerman. Which means that we only have a few cards from Targon region. Most of our cards will be from Demacia and those cards are 3 copies of Tarik and 3 copies of Pale Cascade. Bannerman has been a staple and even an old school deck in the past. But the reason why I'm choosing Targon as my region of choice is because Pale Cascade um, gives us some card draw which Bannerman is lacking. Um, if you combine Pale Cascade plus Tarik, that provides two draws for only one card. So that compensates for one of the weaknesses of Bannerman decks is that we don't have card draw, we don't have any way to refill our hand. And another reason is that Golden Ages synergizes very well with Tarik. If you have a wide board, if you're able to cast Golden Ages in the Tarik, that's usually game over. So pairing up Demacia Bannerman with Targon gives you card draw and gives you a well-needed finisher. The deck is very straightforward. You want to swarm the board in the first 3 turns. We have lots of 1-drops and 2-drops here. Um, we also have some 3-drops with Lauren Protege. So you swarm the board in the first 3 turns. You buff them up with Vanguard Bannerman. Very few decks will be able to deal with a wide board that has been buffed up with Vanguard Bannerman. And then in the next few turns, um, you want to use Garen and Cethria the Bold or Tarik together with Golden Ages in order to finish the game. The deck is very easy to play, in my opinion. Uh, if you're a new player in the game or you just want a chill deck that you want to use for rank, this is the deck for you. Just some tips, um, you don't really need to use the effects of Bright Steel Protector and Honored Lord. Most of the time, you just want to play them as generic 2 mana 3 twos, just to widen your board in order to have a very value Vanguard Bannerman. You want to be dropping units every turn as much as possible in order to get the most value out of your Bannerman. Don't be tempted to keep these cards in hand um, when you're looking for a situation that you would be able to use their effects to their maximum. In general, for the Mulligan, you're keeping Vanguard Bannerman, any of the 1-drops. Um, sometimes you keep the 2-drops, depending if you already have a 1-drop. Um, in certain matchups, you want to keep Lord Protege against a Twisted Fate Fizz, against Aphelios decks, you want to keep Lord Protege. Um, against control decks, for example, Tranda Lissandra, you want to keep Golden Ages because the rally will win you the game. If you watch the videos all the way to the end, you will have a better um, idea of the Mulligan for this deck. Once you play this deck, you will notice that you have uh, very few bad matchups, meaning uh, I don't really see any matchup this, that is unwinnable with this deck. Because this deck can be very consistent, we have a bunch of 1-drops, so you will always have early plays most of the time unless you're really super unlucky. And for example, against uh, TF decks or Aphelios decks, if they don't get their Aphelios on turn 3, or if they don't get the Twisted Fate um, pick a card on turn 4, you're usually going to win if you establish an early board and then you finish up with Vanguard Bannerman together with Golden Ages. And we're also running 2 copies of Rangers Resolve so that we will have an answer to AoE spells like Avalanche, um, Ice Shard, or Twisted Fate's Red Card. Um, it's also very useful when you're facing other mid-range decks because you will be able to win trades with Rangers Resolve. 
the deck is very straightforward. I think you would be surprised on how good this deck is. Give it a try. I actually didn't expect to reach such a high rank. I didn't expect to create a climbing guide for this when I first played and created the deck. And that's it. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like. If you have anything to say, leave it in the comment section below. Comments really help me for the YouTube algorithm. Just commenting will help me grow. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope that you have a nice day and you have an awesome 2021. Bye-bye. We're up against Randa Alessandra. So as long as we get a nice curve, we should be able to overwhelm him. I like Double Penitent Squire and if we mulligan away both Tarik and Sharp Sight, we're most likely to get an Elite. Um, we have to just have to play around the Avalanche. So turn 4 Vanguard Bannerman is actually very good for us. We have to be careful on turn 3 um, to not overdevelop because that will most likely be the turn where he plays Avalanche. So on turn 3, we're, slightly go we're most likely going in for, uh, for an open attack. Oh, never mind. We can, we can develop actually. Can see the board. They out, of out of nowhere. Now the question is, do I attack with the Fleet Feather Tracker? I think yeah. Yeah, we push this damage for sure. 100%. If I use Pale Cascade on this for it to survive, We'll be playing into Avalanche. I think I use Pale Cascade on the Lead Feather Tracker so that if he uses Avalanche, we will just use Ranger's Resolve. If he doesn't use Avalanche, we have a free Vanguard Bannerman next turn. Thinking about Avalanche, you better do it now if you have it. So that next turn, you'll just use Blighted Ravine. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. I probably want to use the Rangers Resolve together with Garen. For the glory of I think he's regretting not using Avalanche here. Uh, this is the best Rangers Resolve that I will get. I'm doing this now because most likely he will go for he will go for something next turn probably. He might go for a uh, Withering Whale, probably why he set up that Avalanche. Well, if he has a second Avalanche, I'm just going to lose to that, so I don't want to play around that. King of Trolls coming through. I go all in on this one. He will block two attacks, which is fine. Or do we keep these two alive, actually, and just go for this? Is that three damage really important? The attack with Cythria is more important, I think. Pushing 3 damage? Yeah, I think the 3 damage is worth it. It's worth it, I think. He can't attack with the Trundle anyway. If he attacks with the Trundle, that's a sign that he has a removal for my Garen. Okay. Garen has regen, so that's fine. Ah, uh, Now is the big question. Do we... Will we be scared of our ruination? We should be. I think going for the attack is perfectly fine here. They look angry. Vengeance? Do you have vengeance? I will use golden ages if you don't do anything here. Okay, so we level up the Garen. We have golden ages. We'll attack again next turn if he doesn't do anything here. If he has Ruination, he should just use it. If he passes, he's trolling. He's an all-time troll if he passes here. Because I am taking that pass back. For 5 mana, he can't really do much here. Does he have an answer? Can't think of an answer here. Best scenario for him would be Vile Feast so that he has another blocker. Or Flash Freeze maybe? A flash freeze maybe. Oh. Cool. So he does have the double ice pillar. If this is a double spectral matron, that's a bit scary. I can now summon a Garen. Let's go for the Cythria first before the Garen. 
Okay, so it's just Lysandra. I am Iceborn. He needs to kill my Cythria, and I think he will kill my Cythria. Maybe that rally was not needed during that turn. Maybe. What? He didn't kill my Cythria. Interesting. He could have a lot of things if we don't go for it now. I think I need to develop, guys. I need to develop. He's only ha he only has we only have one unblockable unit if we don't develop. But if we develop Tarik, we have three fearsome units. The Cythria could easily be flash freezed or vengeanced. It's close. It's very close. That's a very close decision. I don't think he has ruination because if he had it, he would have used it already. He might have vengeance. That's why I need to summon one more unit. To drag you. We just push as much damage as we can. Unyielding. We kill the uh, Lysandra first so that the tough Nexus gets removed. We drag the Ice Pillar because Cythria is not, is not um, fearsome here. He needs a Flash Freeze or a twin sist three sisters into Flash Freeze. That are his two outs. Got him. Got him! I wonder why people don't use Bannerman, uh, Bannerman decks now. Bannerman decks are actually super strong. Especially if you combine it with Targon, you have card draw. We're up against Nasus Thresh. Um, if we get a Bannerman, a good Bannerman off, we will be good to go. Um, in the Maligon, you're generally looking for an early curve into a Bannerman. Garen is a very strong unit to keep, but in the Maligon you don't want to keep him in your hand because you, if you get multiple copies, you're gonna be in trouble. Penetrate Square is good here. Help. Help. So we get some chip damage in. We're gonna go turn two Fleet Feather Tracker, turn three Bl Bright Seal Protector. We can take this damage, I think, or at least we can do this. I have urgent news. Okay, even better. Um, our our penitent square takes no damage. Even better. We want to reserve the tattered banner for Garen. It's pretty nice. We can go another Cythria into a bright steel into an open attack. It's a shame that we don't have. It's a shame that we don't have a Vanguard Bannerman right now. Bannerman would be super good with this board. We're willing to trade here. Oh my. Uh, Blighted Caretaker would be scary. Blighted Caretaker would wreck my 2 twos, man. Or not. Or not. Or not. Do it. Do it. Mm. Tattered Banner is also good with the Honored Lord, but I think Garen with Tattered Banner is too good. For justice, for Demacia. Uh, yeah, we're fine attacking here. Seems good. Glimpse beyond. Okay. We have Cythria into a rally. I'm not sure if he's running Ruination. Not sure if he's running Ruination. I hope not. He's drawing a lot of cards. Another Cursed Keeper. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Do I actually? Do I need it? I think I need it. I think I need it. It's just a one mana card, guys. Low value resolve, but I think I need it. We stand strong. He's just looking for defenders. Which is respectable. Maybe I didn't need the Fleet Feather Tracker. Maybe that was a troll move. Being a 4 4 and being a 4 3 doesn't make much difference here. Because all of his units are 4 attack and 3 attack. I think I just go all in here. Bring him 
Looks good to me, guys. Is he serious? I'm gonna use Golden Ages this round. I don't think he has a counterplay to this except for Blighted Caretaker. But then my Garen levels up. Oh, okay. That's a counterplay. I hope he's not running Ruination. If he's running Ruination, I am F O C K E E D. Forked! I am forked! No doubt that I am forked. Takes those two. Anything? So I summon my Cythria now. Go for the open attack. Demathia! Now and forever. He has two fearsome blockers. I probably just go for the open attack here. Yeah. Open attack looks good. Demacia! Run them through. Demacia! So he lives. But my Garen levels up. Okay. I should not summon my Tarek here just in case on the very small chance that he has Ruination. I don't need to summon anything. Actually, I should have summoned it because even if he has Ruination, I can just Garen. Yeah, I should have summoned it. I should have summoned it. <sighs> he has Vengeance. Yeah, this looks good. He could Vengeance the Garen. Nice. Got him. Got him! Hey, Zoya Filius, if they get the Dusk Petal, Dusk Petal, uh, the, the Lunari Dusk Bringer into the turn 3 Aphelios, that could get spooky for us, but they have a chance of not getting it, right? Um, I'm only gonna weigh everything. I just want my units. You want units more than anything. You want your Vanguard Bannerman. I'm actually here. I'm actually here. As the Zoe. But if he has the Zoe, it means he doesn't have Lunari. Is do I actually sharp sight this? Probably not. Probably not. I will challenge the Zoe with my Lord Protege. So this will be a different type of game. We don't have our early board. We do have Tarik, Garen, and Cythria, which is a very solid mid-game board. Very solid mid-game board. Ah, we have Tarek plus Golden Ages actually. What will you get? The best news, the best thing for me to happen right now is that he would use Golden Ages. I mean that he would use Veiled Temple. He's useful in Veiled Temple. Don't worry. Don't worry. I am here. Okay. Box the bus. Baxtopus, your Baxtopus will die, friend. Your Baxtopus will die. I'm sorry. Not allowed to do that, friend. I will summon my Garen first because he would have to do... Yeah, I'll summon my Garen first. So the only way for him to stop this is to cast two spells immediately and then use Calibrum. But if he does that, I think it's worth it because he will oh, he will waste all his mana. Aha. Probably protects the Aphelias with so. Okay, okay. You're gonna regret that, bro. You're gonna regret that. That's just about it. The bro is going to regret that. 
My bro, you are going to regret that. I'm assuming another Aphelios is coming. I'm assuming another Aphelios is coming. So this should be fine. Oh, I should have casted it on a different unit. He'll probably get box to push out of this. I should have casted the barrier on the Garen actually. Yeah, barrier on the Garen would be the right move. Because we would have triple barrier if we did that. Should summon a box to push here? I don't think he predicted Golden Ages unless he's a genius. Yeah, imagine if we used it on Garen, man. Now I can't attack. Oh, I can attack actually. Let's look for him to defend this, then we attack again. Yeah, it was a troll using barrier on the Tarik. I should have casted it on Garen. Or on the... Yeah, I should have casted it on Garen. Then we can attack with Garen. And attack with the Bright Seal Protector. Skill, you're behind. You cannot stall judgment, bro. <laughs> Shit. We got him. Coming! I'm coming! PF Aphelios this time. Um, so low chance of him of have Low chancer? But he will have something to contest my early game. I'm looking for my 1-drops. I have lots of 1-drops. I should uh, I should get to at least one, right? Should I have kept one Bright Seal Protector? I, I can't say. So at least I have one 1-drop. The Bannerman is not that great here. Because we don't have other units yet. But we have lots of 1 and 2 drops. We're bound to get one. I was just gonna say. The young prince will be found. So he has no turn 1, no turn 2 play. I hope he has no turn 3 play. I have the counter to TF red card. He will go for something like that. The thing with TF Aphelios it, is that they can have hands like this, that they just don't have any early draws. He probably has a Veil Temple. If he uses Veil Temple, that is very ideal for me. He, oh, he could also ta have TF. TF is also a real possibility. I think TF is actually more likely. Golden Ages, once we have Garen on board. Mountain Scryer. If I do this and this, ideal sick. Can we finish him? Ideal 6. He's down to 12. Oh, no, no, no. We can't, we can't actually kill the Scryer. Never mind. The Fleet Feather Tracker cannot kill the Scryer. I'm trolling, guys. I'm sorry. I am a troll. Oh, and he has that. Horns that pierce the heavens. So, what to do? What to do? I would like to attack with my Garen. But I would also like to keep my board alive. Attacking with Garen early is very good here. This deck will struggle to punish development. We can go ahead and drag the charger with the Fleet Feather Tracker. Then attack with our other units. He doesn't have good units to trade with us. He does have one invoke from Star Shaping, but that is a 7 cost, an 8, an eight cost or a 9 cost. 7 cost or higher. Be 7, 8, 9 or 10. So he can't play that yet. The Fleet Feather Tracker will die, but it's just a 2 cost. Nothing to worry about. The pressure will be insane. Pressure is insane, guys! Need to block! Wow, he's so greedy. He must be reserving something then. He might be going to play the charger. I mean, not the charger. Wow. This boy is so greedy, man. What's happening? Why is he so greedy? He's so greedy. He doesn't use red card? Will he eliminate the Garen here? Okay. He has one invoke from Mountain Scryer and one invoke from Star Shaping. It's fine. I can even save the Honored Lord. Oh. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if that's a good idea for him. I just open attack because I have golden ages. Who knows what he could draw. 
Oh, he's so greedy, dude. Just oh, killed gosh. you behind. Eh? So he will be able to stun my Cythria. If he uses his stun here, I'll still use Golden Ages. Is he going to use everything? I mean, I have a trick of up my sleeve if he uses Red Card. I will Sharp Sight the Honored Lord so that it's the one that gets stunned. I have a trick up my sleeve, guys. I don't think it's luck. Use one more spell. Use your red card. I know you're tempted. Use it. Use it. Use it. Aww. Uh, do I sharp sight? Yeah, I sharp sight. We always sharp sight so that the red card would target the honored lord. If he goes for that play. But then, this is already one. I have Golden Ages, guys. You won't be able to stun my Cythria. Yeah, this game is over. This game is just over. The pressure from the Bannerman is too strong, man. The pressure from the Bannerman. And even if I didn't have Golden Ages here, do you foresee what will happen next turn? Aww, cute little pet. Doesn't matter, bro. It doesn't matter. It's over. It's over, Clover. Got him. Brother, Golden Ages is so strong, man. Golden Ages. Shit! Fiora Shen. Fiora Shen is potentially scary. I hope we get a Bannerman. If we get a Bannerman, we're Gucci. We are Gucci if we get Bannerman. The thing with Fiora Shen, shouldn't lose hope against Fiora Shen. Because they are the deck that can brick very hard. They can brick and they will brick. The deadliest combo would be if they get Fiora and they get Shen. I ran uh, as fast as I can. So we have the banner into Honored Lord next turn. If he attacks here, it means he has sharp side. Seems good. He just passes here, tanks the 2 damage, if I were him. Da -da 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 -da. He might have a shit hand, why is he still thinking? You don't summon the Fiora or the River Shaper. Oh. This is a sign of having a sharp sight. Okay. Perfectly fine. Perfectly fine, guys. One family. We must all do our duty. Looks good. Seems good. Feels good. Mm, so I'm not dragging the Shen for sure. The problem if I drag the Shen, I could repost and then I have no answer. Heal dog. Yo double G. Oh, I don't need to repost. Cool. So, I just sharp sight on the Honored Lord. The Honored Lord has Challenger. That has to be valuable, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. A gift from the river folk. We will have two other units here. I don't really need to... Stay resolute. I don't really need to save the Honored Lord because we will refill our board again. With the bright seal and Cethria and the other the bigger Cethria. Depends here what he does. So I have a I had a hand read earlier that he didn't have. He drew a card. My scare cards here would be concerted strike. Another repost. If he uses 
repost plus sharp sight do i have an answer i actually have no answer to that for sure he has something repost plus sharp sight fox my garden up please sharp sight first Please. You said another sharp sight, please. Okay. Oh well. Um, that that will always happen. That will always happen, guys. Show them what we're made of. Nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, Bannerman changes things. Does it? Kind of. can defend pretty well against this attack. Is this actually a good banner man? The king could go where they are needed. The balance has been maintained. So yes, no more mana to deny my golden ages. Nature blesses her followers. You will get to kill two units. Stay back. Nature blesses her followers. My duty is done. I think he's dead. I think I got him, guys. And does he have single combat? Got him! Uh, yeah! I think we're unfavored against this. We are a very combat based deck and they are the anti-combat deck because of the freezes. I think we're fucked. I think we are fucked guys. Ash is basically a counter to Bannerman decks in general. Let's see what he brings out. I should have dropped the Cetria there just in case he goes for um, Omenhawk. Free open attack, free six damage open attack. I'm gonna go in now because if we summon the fleet fairy tracker, he could summon a uh, yeti. Oh, his hand is bricked. He has the brickerino. He has the brickerino, guys. Oh. Great timing. Don't. Nice. If he attacks, that's a read that he has Troll Chant or Troll Chant or Brittle Steel or a lot of things. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. You have to do something. Golden Ages. He has to commit something here. Harsh Winds. Brittle Steel. Oh, his Ash is dead. His Ash is dead, guys. His Ash is a dead. <laughs> Shit. He bricked, though. He bricked. Bad hand on him. Maybe he has a bad deck structure. Maybe he's not following the Raftera deck. Nah, I'm kidding. That's too... That's too proud. Not like that. Okay. I don't like this matchup. I don't like the Trundleless matchup. Not gonna fucking lie. Is this actually a matchup where we keep the Golden Ages? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Yeah, I think Rally, uh, Tarik plus Golden Ages is our way to win here. We also have Rangers Resolve, which is great. This game is not looking too shabby. Not looking too shabby. If they're out there, I'll spot yeah, I'm not gonna... Not even gonna think about clearing that one. I'm setting up a huge board and then Golden Ages plus Tarek.
Don't break. Nice. So we're not worried about the Avalanche anymore. That's the key takeaway. I think against this matchup, not keeping the old Golden Ages was the reason why I was losing the games earlier. It's a hard decision for him. He just wants blockers? Yeah, this is better. Um, we're not bringing all the HP of our units down to... Two? Or maybe you could say I should have used Rangers Resolve right then and there. Also a possibility. Yeah, we're gonna nut next turn. We are going to nut. We are going to nut. We have to nut now, guys. Aha! Let's see if he commits something. I hope he commits some spells. Golden Ages will be fucking high value if he commits here. Please commit spells. He must be thinking, oh, the dude shouldn't have Golden Ages, right? Um. Okay. We have to use more. Shit! Did I fail? Did I fail as the leader? I don't want to see no ruination. I don't want to see no ice quake. I think I should have used Bannerman. Shit. If he commits mana here, I can use Bannerman. One banner, one destiny. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, he's dead. He was doing the well. He was doing well. He was doing well. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh. Severely blank would be problematic. I'm looking for my one drops. Nice, we have Cythria. It's a bit inefficient to use Bright Steel Protector next turn. I think I'd rather use it when he puts out the blank so that we stop the attack. The Emperor commands. The land it's pretty safe to use Laurent Protege next turn. That will stop him from summoning LeBlanc. We probably get to clear the Dune Keeper. Who does not know the name Lauron? So he can't summon LeBlanc anymore. Oh. Can we afford to keep tanking the hits from the Reckless Trifarian? I think we can. Or if he summons something else, I'm gonna use Actory Bright Seal Protector. Places to go, people to be. Is this the Golden Ages turn? Probably. Is this the Golden Ages turn? Hold on. Who does not know the name Laron? For king and country. For king and country. Severe. Playing around bloody business. At least I killed the severe. We have another Garen in hand anyway. The reckless Trifarian will die to a trade with my Cythria if I want that to happen. But I probably don't want that to happen. Another severe. If we go Cythria now, we can Garen and Honored Lord next turn. If we Garen now, we can Cythria and Rally next turn. If he attacks with the Severe here, it's a read that he has something to boost the attack of the Severe. I think we tank this, guys. Noxus! We fight for those who cannot. We fight for those who cannot. Let's see what he does. 
No bloody business, please. No bloody business, please. No bladerino, bisnerino. Easy. Easy. Chico Manua, Chico Chico.